All right, with that crepe myrtle tree in the front, you can see this is an older crepe myrtle. This one right here actually came from a friend of my mom's. She had uh, this growing right next to her house, and it had grown so close to the house and so big, so fast. Well, I'll say fast, but anyway, she couldn't keep it off of her roof. So uh, my stepdad went by there and had him had him cut it down. She, she said she just wanted it gone. Well, he called me and he said, I know you like crepe myrtle trees. You've always said that you liked them. You had an old house. I had them. Are you interested? I said, absolutely. Well, he pulls up with this on a trailer and it was chopped off right here. You can see where he's chopped it off. I mean, he literally took a chainsaw and went, okay, but then took the time and effort to dig it out, dig the root ball out, which the root ball is about as big as where the mulch is on the bottom there where the straw is. He dug this whole root ball out, pulled it up with the truck, or with a van, put it in the back of a trailer and came over here. Well, I got my oldest teenager and I said, grab a shovel. Like six o'clock at night, we start digging a hole. And I slide the sucker in there and I start watering it. And now it's been here for, uh, what is this, his second year? I guess it's his second year. And you see it's still got some leaves on it and it's actually grown some, some branches on it. Um, this is a different type of crepe myrtle. These tend to grow um, about medium size. There's some other variety that grow really tall and beautiful and, and I'd like for this one too also, but I didn't cut this one back at all this year. I just let it go. It's about head level. I like these smooth trunks on the bottom. Got a lot of character. Mm -hmm. This year they all, uh, like, a, like a pulp wood almost, they, or a birch, they shed their, their outside covering or I guess you'd call it bark um, into these large paper-like sections kind of like a birch tree but when it comes off it's all smooth and shiny i think it has a lot of character and the fact that it takes so long to grow so thick i mean good golly this tree is probably 60 70 years old and just like an old car it's been repurposed it's been brought to me and i've brought it back to life and it's growing and it's happy and and i picked it i picked a spot right here in the yard where it's not going to grow next to anything I mean, there is nothing around. The street is a good 20 feet away or so. You know, I mean, it's got room to just be happy and grow, and I'm just I'm tickled with that. So, yay, crepe myrtles. And this is an autumn maple, and I wish I would have got some video of it. Um, this tree right here we bought at a, a, at a, a nursery, and this tree was about half the size it is now. Um, it has the most beautiful, brilliant red leaves in the fall, but I literally came home from work Friday and all of them had fell off, except for there's one dangling that's brown. But I mean, you can see here, it's kind of like Charlie Brown, you know, and he's like, I love your tree. And then the fall sets in and the tree goes, thump. That's literally, I mean, I went to work one morning and there was leaves, came home and there was none. So anyway, I'll show you out there, everybody. I have a good one. Oh, I meant to say, the car distracted me going by. I meant to say this thing is going to grow 30 feet tall or so. Now it's going to look beautiful in the, in the fall when this thing gets all big and large and full of leaves. But they grow slow, and like I said, I ain't planning on going nowhere for a long time, so hopefully I get to see that grow along the way. Anyway, if you can't tell, it's a beautiful day out here. I am wearing... I can't tell if I'm upside down or what. Well, I just probably just spun y'all all different directions. I'm wearing shorts today because because it's sunshiny. Look at that. Woohoo! I know. I took the rumbler for a ride today. It's a beautiful day outside. I just had to wind it down. Had to go to the store and buy some stuff to fix some stuff around the house and. She just drove, drove great, and everybody was smiling, looking at me, and people were stopping me at Lowe's. Oh, that's just a cool car. What is that, a Malibu? Nope. Is that a Nova? Nope. AMC Rambler. So, anyway, y'all have a fantastic day.